I don't know if I can do this or not. But for someone that really, I did not grow up in Mohawk, but I have become so involved in the Mohawk community. Way, way back in 1973, I was a rebel because I was living in the only co-ed dorm at Slippery Rock University. And three guys came down the hall. Frank Lorello, Ron Swanson, and their friend Mike. Well, at that time, three guys couldn't be in the co on the girls' floor in the co-ed dorms. So Ron said, oh, wait, there's someone I recognize from one of my classes. Let's hide in there. So that's how I came to Mohawk. <laughs> and on that same hall, also a rebel, was Lori Seminera. <laughs> but, um, How'd you end up with me then? <laughs> that's next year's story, Jessica. <laughs> Also, when I did not know what Cindy and Valerie, think Cindy and Valerie were doing anything, but as I was sitting there, I'm looking around, and Pam Beatty looks at me and says, you were my second grade teacher. <laughs> Actually, there are, I found out tonight, there are six of my former students that are now employed at Mohawk. Pam Beatty, hope I remember everybody, Pam Beatty, Kevin Rona, Andy Schillenberg, Dave Gleghorn, Jill Zarlengo, and now Josh Long. So I just hope that I hope that I can say I'm maybe a little part of the reason why you wanted to come back to this wonderful area. Thank you. spread stories about students. But we have to get some, we have 38 cameras in the high school, and we have some surveillance video that Mr. Forensic uh, gave to me. And uh, I just thought it would be kind of neat and maybe get to know one of the students a little bit better, even though it's in a negative light. So if, if we would, uh, hmm. well, let's see. And there is his mother. <laughs> 